Hello. Well, I don't know if you can hear me that good, so this is like very independent like recording. And sorry if you can hear the TV in our bedroom. Amara is watching something. I don't know what, but yeah. So if you can hear that, hopefully it's not too uh, a, too much of a bother. So anyway, we're gonna try something a little bit different because um, personally, none of us or both of us here uh, have never heard of this company. And it's a local company here in our state of Vermont and we feel like we need to help them get the word out because they're friendly ass people and they have some very amazing yummy products that we want to share with you because this is what this is this is basically our first um weird unboxing of stuff of yums so this is probably going to be the title the witchwood unboxing of yums Ooh. so anyway before we get started Witchwood is from Stowe, Vermont. They were formed sometime last year, which once again, I never heard of it. Um, Tessa, you're the one that found it, right? Yes, I found Witchwood on Instagram. Um, it was actually uh, one of my friends who had posted about it, shared some of their um, Hecate maple, uh, chocolate maple flavored syrup and um, their Hellhound what is it like? I think it's like, is it like soap or like? Sure. Anyway, <laughs> they have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of they have a lot of stuff. And my friend, she was the one that posted about it, and I was like, hmm, this is intriguing. And I've never seen chocolate maple fra flavored syrup before. And I'm also a witch and also a follower of Hecate, so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll go check it out. And I'm kind of known as a green witch, in a way. So, I went and I checked the page out and I was following them for a while and then I decided to show Paul them because I figured he would like them because he always likes to support lo local, um, when bus I can. local businesses when we're able to, when we have the means. And if it really grabbed my attention, and in which case, um, this grabbed my full attention, period. Yeah, I, I had a feeling it was going to grab his attention, so I figured it was worth sharing with him. So I showed him the site, and I shared their uh, Instagram page with him and a couple other things, and he was hooked immediately, uh, to, say the light, uh, to say the least. Yeah, so let's get started. So first off, before these lovely two packages, which I'll explain in a minute and stuff, um, what was the first thing that you got us to try from which one? So, for Paul's birthday, I decided to order the pumpkin spice, uh, Samhain, uh, maple flavored syrup from them. And as you can see, it has one you of Paul's... You have to look at the bottle? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just, just shut up. Wow. Anyways... It, as you can see on it, it has one of Paul's favorite iconic characters on it, the Headless Horseman. And the reason why I was looking at it, because I was going to say that it has about 250 milliliters worth of lovely syrup in this gorgeous bottle. And it's dripped with wax, candle wax, and it is also, can't really see it that good, no. but it's stamped. With their little logo. With their little logo. And as you can see, the bottle itself is just lovely all the way around. And inside the uh, bottle of syrup itself, over here, you can't really see it that good, but they actually put an actual cinnamon stick in with the syrup. And Paul and I, I made us... It's all vegan made, basically. Yes. So I had made Paul and I breakfast and made him pancakes, and he got to try this out, and so did I, and yum. Yeah, it's very interesting because I'm not really used to vegan stuff quite yet, but hey, I'm always up to trying different things. But you can definitely tell the difference between this than just naturally made and organic compared to a store-bought brand. Which is blech, and I don't think I could ever go back to store-bought brand. 
no. ever again, especially after having Witchwood. Yeah, would the different thing that Witchwood even offers, which we'll show you in a little bit too. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no going back to the store brand stuff. So anyway, now, so as we all know, it's getting to be that time of year, and that means Krampus. That means the what type of season is it for us witches? Yule. Yule. Which, for, for some weird reason, babe, while I open one of these bad boys up, what is Yule? Yule is basically the pagan holiday for us. Um, it was pretty much uh, what the Christians took from us and made it into their own thing. Um, so basically what Christians can consider to be Christmas is actually Yule for us. Uh, there's slight differences. We, um, follow like different traditions than Christians do, so on and so forth. Yes. Basically, Yule is also about giving and love and... Just being nice in general, I think, is basically the idea. Which is very hard for me to say because of, well, who I am. And, uh, well, um, I can sometimes get along with people and sometimes can show affection. And then there's days where I want to just rip people's heads off. In a nice way. It's, it's very much true. Yes. I've been with him for four so years anyway, and going. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, we have here our two boxes of which wood because, like we just said, we like to support local businesses. And so here is box number one. So let's start off with what they give us with us. So they got a lovely little sticker of their logo, which is absolutely amazing. I like the iridescent. Design. And, um, oh, this is very nice. This is the postcard for the Yule season with a Yule spell for the Winter Solace. And, um, that's very kind. Yeah, of the, win yeah the win winter solstice, yeah. Yes, it is very awesome. So, yeah, which we celebrate solstices and, um, Yep. So we'll start off with um, something interesting. So we start off with this. Now, they do tea. And what better way to have your tea than a spoon? But we're not talking just any type of spoon, unfortunately. We are talking about a spoon that is gold and in the shape of a skull. If that's not badass, I don't know what is. So, that's like five bucks on their shop. Not bad. So, and like I just said, if you're going to have tea, well, you might as well try out their seasonal tea. Your spice your. tea. So, I mean, what else can you not possibly go wrong? Um, I'm don't see it in this one so we're gonna have to wait on what we need the tea for what we need to come with it but um yeah we'll start with this one let's see what this one is this is maple syrup this is one of the maple syrup so let's see what we got here we got yule which would mole pear spice maple syrup see that Pretty neat, and it's got a red candle steel cap. And I think, what is it called? Yule. Yeah, it's the Yule one. Ooh. It sounds dangerous. Too. And just so everybody knows, I went out and I bought a bunch of pancake mix because I figured since we were getting stuff from Witchwood, we were going to be eating pancakes for a while. Yeah, so when this actually um, video gets released, because as we're doing this, this is way before this even comes out. 
So as you're watching this today, which is Saturday, um, we will hopefully let you know how this is. So this is a, um, this was uh, a nice, lovely gift to us from them. And, uh, yeah, so another amazing type of, oh God, pure spice, huh? Interesting. So, man, you know what? Do you even remember? I'm trying to remember names now. It's Ben and Christina, right? All right. Hi, everybody. So before we just start butchering their names, because I want to make sure I get it right, because you're talking to me here who can't re remember names were shit. And um, yeah, so anyway, we when we got the pumpkin spice, they gave us some stuff too, and they kind of gave us like a postcard again, right? Yes. So this time, this is actually them. These are the two lovely people behind which one? This is Christina and Ben. Ah, I didn't butcher their name. Good. <laughs> and it says on the back of the card with the picture of them, it says, Together we started Witchwood in 2019 by infusing spices and botanicals into Vermont maple syrup. From trees grown on Christina's family lands, the first run syrup sold out and we knew we had something special. We wanted to personally thank you for your order and... We are honored that you chose to support our shop. Look out for more magical wares and maple syrup flavors coming soon. Blessed be. And yes. All right. So, um, just in case you didn't pay attention to me, um, they gave us candy. Peppermint candy. Lovely candy. So. Lastly, we got the last thing in the first little box, which I ought to know what it is. Um, so I cannot wait to dig into this. So, um, yeah, so it's a 2X fleece flannel. I'm going to do my best here. Ha, ha, ha. It's almost like Freddy Cougar wear in a way. <laughs> and on the back here, we have Krampus. The lovely Krampus. And what's even more interesting is look at how they uh, did the wrapping. The wrapping itself is sealed with a snowflake and the same print as Paul's shirt. It's like a nice little wrapping paper. Lovely. Yes. So, finally, we actually have one more thing, which is another maple syrup. So... What one could this be? So this one is one that I've actually been dying to try. This is the one that I first saw that piqued my interest in Witchwood. And it is Hecate's chocolate maple flavored syrup. And not only is the bottle gorgeous and the fact that it's chocolate flavored maple syrup, it actually has my favorite goddess on it, which is Hecate. Who is Hecate, by the way, babe, for those that may not know? She is the uh, queen of witches. She is considered to be dark mother. She who is all uh, the torchbearer, goddess of the crossroads. Um... She's mother to a lot of witches. Uh, she she deals in um, childbirth and death and witchcraft and all sorts of other things. She's everywhere. Yeah. And if you don't believe it, well then um, you might want to start researching because you might have seen symbols of or at least maybe not symbols but signs <laughs> omens all sorts of things because like I just said she's everywhere she's everywhere she really is so finally yes we got one more little box and um, I guess I didn't open it quite, quite uh, enough it's over here honey we are still fighting with this <laughs> And uh, it is packed 
in here. So, um, what can you say? Oh, God, here we go. Uh, uh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. So, this is the Witchwood Krampus box. So, once again, a nice little component that tells us. Oh, jeez. Uh, tells us what the Krampus box has. But before yes. we tell you what it is, let's find out for ourselves, right? Right. So, let's start off with the first item, which is a Krampus air cinnamon freshener. scent air freshener. And it uh, looks like it has a lovely thing on the uh, back of it, too. So, what does it say, babe? Krampus is a creature from German Germanic folklore that punishes naughty children during this Christmas season. Better watch out. Designed to scare children into behaving, he has a terrifying appearance and has a bag full of switches for beatings. That's right. That is. So like I was saying before, <laughs> team, <laughs> even though I did, was not trying to drop it, but team, we got another type of seasonal tea from them. Krampus tea. Krampus tea. And does it sound delicious? By the way, uh, did we even say like what was in the tea? So one? in the two teas we've got here, so the Yule Spice tea is black tea, organic peel, cinnamon, apple, almond, natural cinnamon, orange spice, orange flavor, rose petals, apple flavor, and vegan non-GMO sprinkles. So that's that already sounds dangerous. So that's for Yule. For Krampus's blend, we have black tea, apple, cinnamon, coriander, cardamom pods, orange, pink pepper, cloves, and vegan non-GMO sprinkles. It's quite sounding good already. And they look really pretty too. Okay, I think this is it. If not, I'm gonna be like, what? I can't pick the right one. So. It's a, so let me just like first make sure here what we're dealing with, maybe. Because uh, they wrap things pretty good. I'll say they did. Your tea. Did I get it? You have your tea, we'll get it afterwards, I guess. In a nice little mug. But not just any type of mug. Krampus a Krampus mug. handmade mug. So Look at that. that's so pretty. And I don't even know if the camera is really doing it, giving it justice. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, if you're going to have tea, you might as well celebrate it with some Krampus. Now, that's what I was trying to get to. Anyway. So, let's see what else we have here that's in the Krampus box here. So, oh, Jesus. This is so not me. But, anyway, um, unless I want to be a geeky girl sense with uh, X Witchwood of Krampus with bay berry, fur, wealth, and charcoal. So, I mean, unless I can pass as a geeky girl, I mean, yeah. Um, that's something it that it is. It is, ooh. Oh, dear God, maybe I will be a geeky girl. All right. It's a lovely Krampus candle. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is very nice smelling. Very nice smelling indeed. And, you know, we can't celebrate December without a Christmas tree. And without that, let's have a nice hand-made, hand-blown-made Krampus tree ornament. Which, I don't know if I would ever, like, take that out. Because it's gorgeous as it is. So, um, and since we are cat people and we have a little daughter, um... I think I wanted it to stay intact. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got another thing here. And um, since this is the, in fact, the Krampus box, this is another maple syrup when I can get it from, oh my goodness. Aha! Aha! We have Krampus's Hickory Smoke Orange. Orange. Dun, 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 dun. Once again, babe, it has what? A nice wax seal. In red. In red with the Wishwood logo. Stamp to it. Yep. And then it's another seasonal. Yep. Another seasonal. They updated the uh the Krampus look this time on the bottle as well compared to uh last year's. 
which I will definitely say I like this Krampus design better than last year. No offense, Witchwood, but yes, I 100% agree with you that it was definitely a great upgrade. Um, oh god, I can already smell this thing already. So, what is this exactly? This is a Witchwood Krampus Whipped Coconut Sugar Scrub infused with essential oils. Basically something I would use in Basically the shower. Basically something that she would use. Maybe I would use it if I want to smell pretty. Cause, but then again, I... Oh, God. I am not a big fan of coconut, but oh, my God. That is delicious smelling. I would eat that thing. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> and, it has, and it has uh, a couple of gemstones in it as well. It does. Yes, it does actually yeah. so that was the care package of Witchwood. so once again we got like a nice little box thing of Cr the Krampus box set we got four maple syrups and we still have our pumpkin spice holy oh, crap and um we got two teas and a mug, a Christmas ornament, an air freshener, two postcards, a spoon, and some candy. Candy, and sugar scrub, and Paul's flannel. Flannel. And um, so it was definitely worth the local business support, I would say. And I will thank them again for the lovely Yo maple syrup gift as well. And because uh, they didn't have to do it, and uh, in fact, that's exactly why you should support them. Because if you sign up with their website, they will send you stuff for your birthday. But make sure when you do sign up that you sign up like a little bit, um, like a month before or two months before your birthday, because that way um, they can get it ready otherwise if you don't meet the deadline that they want for your birthday then you gotta wait a whole year before they send you something for your birthday but still it's very cool you earn points too when you sign up with Witchwood and you purchase uh, stuff from them so every one dollar spent is like 10 points so it adds up real quick um so I have a like 2,000 points waiting for me, basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That was the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Um, here's a little display of their lovely website with all their maple syrup in the box. And make sure you check them out if you love maple syrup and you don't like the store brand stuff. Or maybe you haven't really experimented because there is some maple syrup that they have that we have yet to even try it. Like gingerbread marshmallow. Like who does not want to try that? Which is the Baba Yaga maple syrup. Baba Yaga. They have regular maple syrup too. I will sh um, say that. And then they got like so bunch of other stuff. Hell, for all you people that like spicy shit and hot stuff. Um, well, maybe spicy, but hot stuff for sure. They got ghost pepper maple syrup. Um, if that doesn't say give it. To me, in the mouth, hot. I don't know what else does. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Make sure you check out Witchwood. Support local. And if you don't live here locally, well, um, hopefully we found you a nice, lovely website for you to check out and support. Because these people deserve all the uh, support possible. Because they did just barely start. And this is their second year. So, um, and I feel stupid without saying this, but... I was Paul Dorsky during this unboxing. And I'm Tessa Baker. And hopefully we will see you next time when we ever do another unboxing again.